wondering where Khan's advantages lie. Here they are. Nine years young, three inches taller. Two in Wearing green, official weight, 140 pounds. Professional record. Both men have elite hand speed and real punt power. The odds too big and too tough for Zab. Just always in shape, but this looked next level shape for him. He's going to need it. Judah says, with all his experience, he can teach which one has really been to graduate school. That's what we're about to find out. It's going to be jab. You see the difference so far is the length of Khan's jab. Thing else. And I think as a result, you're going to see Judah trying to fight a more patient fight. Box fast like he normally does. Most of his fights, including the fight with Mayweather, he, Khan would prevail. Khan reaching to get Judah. Judah. Judah backing straight up. Yeah, he's, he's just going to block Khan's jab and then a return to jab of his own, but he's merely guys. He's very comfortable fighting in reverse, setting up counter punching opportunities for himself. And Khan is. <laughs> Some pretty precise punches. Yeah, he's concentrating on defense, but he hasn't been able to knock anything offensive. And Khan's confidence has grown with each punch. Taking that pace. Khan using his feet now. Ooh, Judah all left hand. Sneaky counter left. Oh, and a good right from Judah. And there has crashed. See which fighter can keep his foot outside the front foot of the other guy. And I mean, right on Zab's front foot. And Zab has a lot of scar tissue from a lot of scars from years back, too. Jeff. <laughs> As expected, Khan more ah. active throwing punches in the. Hey, look. Yeah, Antima, Antima. All right, listen. That first round, you over it now. All right? Get those legs out for me. Right. Uh, nice job. Keep in the pain, right? Right here. Coming in with a collision of here, which happens often when you have a southpaw fighting a typical right-hand fighter. Totally accidental. Very fortunate. But all in all, the reason Pernell Whitaker's okay, you're over it now, is that Judah only threw to one. Still, it looks like there's some swelling or some mucking around that right eye. Khan is a bigger, faster guy, and he's been fighting with a lot of... It. Well, Zab Judah told us in our fighter meeting yesterday that he is sure he's never been in the ring with anybody who had faster hands. And hands were faster than Mather's. Everybody who's been in the wild card gym has watched... Comparable. Uh, I see the difference so far is that Khan has the longer reach, and he's putting his punches together. He's and, way and more... And he's taking advantage of it. And, that's, and that's what's happening in this... Although Judas deep, he's had his moments and he's avoiding and blocking a lot of con shots. He's doing a lot of it's bothering him, and that may be a big factor going down the fight. Good quick check hook is Judah King. Judah's always been a pot dotter, meaning he looks for openings and is hoping to hurt his opponent. Hey, you guys have mentioned the eye. Judah's now leading from both the nose and the mouth. We've seen Judas face a bloody mess. Con forcing a right hand. Now Rips Judah with the left. Dab a little bit. I mean, he's, he's going back. He's strictly on the defense, and he's letting those sharp punch and punches back. For a guy who was seen in the past as a fast start, Zab Judah has allowed Amir Khan to dominate the first yet. Well, hard right hand by Khan. And a couple little bots that Khan got in. When Emmanuel mentions Amir Khan's momentum fight. And look at the size advantage. His back is considerably wider. It's around, he's moving forward. First of all, I've got to get you to hit him with that jab. We'll bring that left hand across. Hey, very good. The uppercut's working good. The body's up. Zab Judah has landed six. So the bottom line is Mir Khan has gotten out of the gate, trying to get himself started in the fight. never beaten an elite opponent. The close a lot of good fights, but every time he stepped up to the top real upper echelon, he's looking to pull off the upset. Judah with a wild swing there. Looks for a factor in the fight now. Watch your hands, guys. Watch your hands. Right hand by Khan. And, and what we're also seeing there is that Khan is already an elite fighter. 
Well, I'm very impressed with Craig just about but his physical strength. He looks like a welterweight in, with a junior Frank. welterweight. I didn't say that would be about the money, but Khan is clearly getting bigger. This is a bigger physical specimen. Zab mentions having Pernod Whitaker in the corner. It's like Scotty Pippen in 93, you know, scrimmaging with Mike Gordon. And when tried to compliment her, you're wearing 16 ounce gloves. My fight schedule isn't the same as his. You're very delicate too because you know he's playing with one of the great legends. And to be bad mouthing them, saying he's taking the fight. He's in obviously ridiculous shape. And he has everything to fight for here. And he's routed so far. It's turning into a, a sneaky left hand that he hides and then throws from the left side. The punch that it's in the first three rounds in Madison Square. And almost had Koto Khan. As close to getting caught by a couple of big rounds. Good right hand by Khan. And follows up in a hurry. That's the way it works that body. I got to get round. I got to get to the unit. I got to press on this man. Renault right with his charge in the corner. Khan had landed 37 punches to only 10 for Judah. Three to nothing, 30 to 27, Amir Khan. You know, Jim, the key to this is pushing Zeb Judah back. He's landed his straight right hands, and he's right. Zeb on the defense to the right. You know, to try to square up by Judah, which is the wrong way to go because you're going right into Judah's. But be as it may, Amir Khan, by landing that first, controlling the fight, three to nothing. He said that he's circling that. Mr. Punch, goes, he's systematically being destroyed, broken down. Is excited about. He makes that little duck move, but it's a great defensive move. But he doesn't punch from that position. He should be coming to wait and shit of this man coming over his shoulders, over top of him, going to drain him. Just like I said right there, even though he's avoiding the punches and he's physically not strong enough, anyways, it is to. You know, the other thing is that Khan can hit Judah from a distance that Judah cannot. Khan is fighting exceptionally smart fight. No hole, no hole. Beginning the exchanges, finds himself trying to follow up with a few body punches and something stairs. <laughs> Judah himself had a new physical condition program coming in. He's working with one other boxer, Nita Donaire. Conti, of course, says that his day's over. Good right hand by Conti. You know, you made a very good point, Max. I just get rid of the same pose of that gap. He, he can pull back from punches, but he can't return punches because his arms are too short. This, he has not done it yet. We've seen four rounds of pretty much the same thing. Amir Khan. Something that happened on the undercard. Our first look with the name of the king of the 126 pounders for the moment. Yuri Oska. He keeps his hands up, Gary Russell Jr. As a Gambo, somewhere near Cuba. <laughs> Averaging 23 thrown, four-handed. End of story so far. Well, it looks like Zab's just hoping that one of those came in. But, um, you know, he's losing every round and getting beaten up. He looks like he just hasn't found his way in the fight tactically. And, 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 and Khan is fighting the fight perfect. At the distance where he can punch effectively. And he's reduced Zab to primarily... And I'm Khan's many to survive the butts back. Yes, that's amazing. When Zab is the one with the bald head, and Zab is the quarter fighter, have collision seems like he gets the worst of it. Zab's really trying to hit a home run now. Well, he saw my Donna in some uppercuts against Khan. Susceptibility to the uppercut, but of course, Freddie wrote the fights too, and he goes to work very. Khan is a much improved fighter from the other fights that I've seen. This is and his left landed the left hook well. Now go to the right. He's in the middle of the ring. If that was the strategy, it's time to change. Emmanuel, what does he do? Max and Jeff, what you said, just change. He needs to defeat it. He's going to get stopped in. He's got nothing to lose. He needs to let it all. He's an act puncher and a bigger puncher Ooh. than he is. Punch that Fernell Whitaker wants to see him throw. And that's one of his best punches. Man. Hit low. He's not going to make it up. He's going to be a knockout victory for Amir. And Zab Judah believes that he was fouled, but he's not going to win the. Did he not right in his face? Because he acted as though he, he acted to get up. I'd like legs were done. We're gonna take a look at that. 
It was close. It may have been right on the belt lock. Well, I can't oh. see a man being in. I can't see a man being in pain. I really look. First, the right hand upstairs. Legal or illegal, Manuel? It's illegal. Thanks. It's really does. It's, yeah, it's it's been looked about. It's on the belt. Point. Yes. Harold Letterman, what's your call about Jim, this? Let me tell you something. Don't Lancashire, England. I'm here.